Hey, you damn ghost bastard. Uh, that's rude. Why do they always backfight you, you damn assholes? I, I always notice it's only like when you're off the ground. They're like, yeah. hey, what? You, this is my airspace. Yeah, this is my damn airspace. Let me get the TSA here to fill up your butt <laughs> and see if you got any ores on your illegal ores. Are you importing foreign <laughs> ores? We're going to have to fondle your balls now. <laughs> yeah. Turn your head and cough, please. It's ridiculous. Literally. <sighs> Ridiculous. Riyadh, seriously. Mm hmm. Also, you're right. Fortune does not work on Zychronium, which is unfortunate. Um, unintended. Well, there's another ghost. <laughs> yeah, there's another ghost. Like, when you fly up and you're like, I'm going to get these ores, they're like, nope, let me sneak attack you from behind. They're like, by the way, did we tell you there were 50 of us? Yeah, it's like, by the way, did you drop the soap? Because I got you from behind, buddy. <laughs> Oh, mm. that's how it works. It's ridiculous. Oh, just like the hospital. Yep. Uh, you, are you still mining? I had to go back and charge up, but I didn't mention it because I wanted to keep it on the down low. Uh, well, I I don't know. I, I thought I was downloading ores. The downloading. Uh, I was I was on the Viking Bay. Oh, with uh, Terrace. Yeah, I was on the Viking Bay with Terrace, and we were just Terrace down high definition. <laughs> uh, I thought terrorist. it was terrorist hard drive. Oh, you I think you might be right actually cuz it makes more sense cuz his videos do come off of his hard drive you upload them from your hard drive. I yeah, mean they yeah. are in they are in HD though too like high definition so I don't know like I, don't know, I guys... definitely think it's the hard drive one. The hard drive one seems more catchy. Yeah, I think that. Uh, yeah, I think you're probably Like what right. sounds what sounds more epic? Terrorist HD uh or terrorist hard drive <laughs> yeah i like yeah that's perfect like yeah i think you're right because terrace hd sounds pretty awesome i mean let's give it credit but, but terrace hard drive is really good too so yeah yeah that's true oh I, I, I but guess. that's the thing that's the thing he actually copyrighted the way you say it too like you can like people have copyrighted words yeah that's fine but uh copywriting the way you say things that's new revolutionary technology and he was on the uh precipice of starting a new uh trend in society as we know in, it in ways to sue people because <laughs> mm -hmm. i mean let's be honest if you can if you can trademark a speech pattern like just 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 find some funny accent trademark it and then just go sue everyone who lives in the wells that's what i'm gonna do i mean i'm just gonna make up an accent and just sue everyone for using my made-up accent but then they probably won't be doing if they if the, if I made it up though. Maybe I should go copy an accent first. What do you think? I don't know. You need to go find like a really small obscure country, copy that accent, and then you can sue everyone there. Good idea. Really small obscure obscure country. I'll try England. Um, well, I don't I'll know. Think, I, I think I'll we think need to go for something small. I'm thinking like um, Canada. Yeah, I don't think anybody's really heard that much about them. I mean, I th they were in the news recently. They had like some sort of weird like uh, maple maple sugar shortage. Oh yeah, that's where the guy like he did something with it or something. Or he did like he did a thing with it. Well, well, they were carrying all of their maple sugar on a single truck, and uh, Canada is actually the world supplier of maple sugar, which is why no one knows about them because I mean. And yeah, th that's true. They also, apparently, by the story, have the world's biggest truck. Yeah, uh, it took up about, like, eight lanes of a six-lane road, which was a real challenge to fit two extra lanes that didn't exist in there. But it is canon. I mean, they have a lot of empty dead space anyway, so and I'm not talking about the video game. Yeah, well, I mean, there are some necromorphs, let's be honest. True. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie about that. That is true. Um, especially during Canuck season, they're just like, you, you don't need a gun to kill moose. Seriously, it's the Canucks fans. And seriously, what kind of name is that, anyways? I mean, what the Canuck is up with that? Like, I, I don't what know. What kind of name is that for a team? Weirdos. What, what kind of Canuckers would name a team that? I don't Canuck and no. Well, this ghost thinks he he's in my face. Was he in your face? Mm-hmm. 
like like Minecraft style? Can you like see the inside of your head? Why he himself seems really tiny? Um, I w if that's true, I wouldn't tell you because that's a kind of a personal thing. I don't, want, I don't think I don't think our relationship is ready to go to that level just yet. Oh come on, <laughs> just, just just a little bit. Just I mean, how can, we've been in your dark basement so many times together, building beautiful, beautiful slimy slimy symphonies. <laughs> That is true, but that's not something that people need to know. I'm not ready to go public with this yet. But I, I think it's time to come out of the diamond chest with all of our oars. In all of our glory. Wasn't wasn't that a movie, Oars of Glory? I think it was, yes. Starring, um, what's his face, uh, Adam Sandler, right? Uh, I, I, I thought it was Adam Sessler. Oh, it was Andy Sandberg. Yeah, 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 that's that's exactly Oh, no, no, Adam Sandberg. No, a Andy Sandler. It was one of the... It was something with Sands. Ryan Sandberg, the old pitcher for the Cubs, that's what it was. Um, okay, right. I think he was a pitcher. If he wasn't a pitcher, he should have been, because he would have been a good pitcher. Uh, I... Yeah, I mean, he does look like the type of person who can hold some lemon water pretty well. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm dying. I'm about to die, so, yeah. Uh, uh well, I mean, this... We haven't had a death in this video yet, so it's about time. It is true, but I saved myself for the people. Oh, okay. Well, I need to go fix that. Fix the people or fix the fact that I didn't I was about not... to jump in front of one of your arrows again. That would have... <laughs> that would have been that would have been a sweet like thing of you to do. Like That's I sweet. would jump in front of one of your arrows for you, sweetie. <laughs> I would jump in front of one of your arrows as long as it was not going to pierce, you know, a vital organ like my bacon. Bacon is good for me. I just want you to know that. Um, oh, I keep silk touching Whoa. the lapis. This guy keeps rochambeauing me, bastard. Yeah, silk touch it. That's what you should be doing, right? I mean, I was fortuning it. Yeah. Well, get your damn words right. Well, you know what? Sometimes words are all we have to go on. I guess... that not that the opening line to uh, the theme song for... Um, what's it called? Growing Pains? Right? Well, I, I was going for a reference of the literary work. Oh, jeez. <clears throat> I'm stuck in a hole in a ceiling, and there's a ghost underneath me. What song is that from? Uh, there's, there's, I'm stuck in a hole, and there's a ghost underneath me. Oh, I know, yeah, the old punk rock band. Um, what, what was their name again? Um, Steam Powered Chainsaw. Oh, yeah, damn, they were awesome. Oh, I think I killed you. Or maybe something's killing me. No, something's killing you because I have three hearts left and I'm running. Yeah, I, I think I swung and maybe hit you or almost hit you. Probably not. You would have been dead <laughs> with my sword. My sword would have murdered your face off. Did you know steampunk bands are a thing? Really? Like, what exactly do they do? Play steam instruments? I No, they don't. I'm oh, sorry, guys. Out of gas. For the song, I gotta go fill up. <laughs> oh, my friend Dude. showed me a music video of a band called Steam Powered Giraffe. What the freaking hell? And I want to see the actual giraffe. If they have it, they're awesome. If they don't, that's false advertisement. Well, the the the, the confusing part of it was they were actually all steam powered gorillas. Oh, like when you would go to Chuck E. Cheese as a kid, like they would have the steam-powered gorillas that would like sing and dance. Yeah, and they like terrified you because yes, of like the, were... the the noise and the smoke that came out of them. And they would just like freak out on you and just go psycho and just start murdering every kid in attendance <laughs> on more than one occasion. Yeah, uh, they, they they the there's reasons that the they paid large amounts of money for those to never be publicized. Um, yeah, that is true. But, you know, uh, steam-powered gorillas in a band called Steam-Powered Giraffes. Um, supposedly, ironic. they named it after uh, a girl in high school that they all really liked who just happened to be a steam-powered giraffe. Oh, Jerafina? Yeah, Jerafina, the, the steam-powered giraffe. Um, yeah, I, I remember hearing about her as a kid. Apparently, uh, apparently her, uh, her smoke plumes were... Uh, well formed, if you know what I mean. Oh, nice. This ghost thinks he could dodge everything I've ever done in my life. 
Well, he's gone now. I don't know where the hell he went. Everything you've ever, so what 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 have, what's that like? Three hundred Minecraft videos. Mhm. Mm More than you if you multiply it by three. Which gets back to the earlier talk of multiplication and addition, folks. Yeah, exactly. Math. You have to add before you can multiply. Mm-hmm. Unless you start out with something. Like, if you're one of those people who just opens up a YouTube account and instantly gets, like, 50 subscribers, like... Then, uh, yeah, then we hate you. Yeah. <laughs> we hate you and we'll never be your friends ever. Exactly. And if you have 50 subscribers, um... You should definitely ask if you can get on the Mindcrack server, because I hear they're looking for people. Yeah, that is true. Don't ask to get on our thing. Our thing sucks. Um, actually, actually, um, if you guys go send a message to Sigils. Oh, yeah, Sigils. What's his uh, channel again? Uh, Sigils Plays Games. Okay. Sigils send Plays him, Games. Send him a message saying, I hearts to Mindcrack. And he will give you an invitation to Hermitcraft. Mm -hmm. Which will be your opening to get into Minecraft once you get on there. You gotta ask, who is it? Who do you ask once you get on the Minecraft? Um, you have or, to or add, Hermitcraft, I mean, sorry. Her, yeah, once you once you get on to Hermitcraft, um, you have to go to Y equals 1,000, X equals 1,000, and Z equals 3 million. And there'll, oh, be, a vil there'll be a yeah. villager standing there. And then there's the pixel art that tells you the, like the whole details, because they could have done signs, but that's boring. So they did pixel art, and it's all wool. Like you got to, how many thousands of blocks is it? You got to run to read the entire details. Uh, it's it's about uh, two or three hundred thousand blocks. Yeah, it's pretty intense. That's why their world uh, save files like uh, what is it, one point uh, twenty one gigawatts or something? Yeah, um, it's it's a couple of megawatts. It's a pretty yeah. big file. Yeah, it is pretty big. Because after terabytes, it starts going into megawatts, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, then you have uh, then you have your... Um, then goes to gigawatts, of course, too. Giga, giga. But uh, after that, you have your nanowatts. That's a, that's a rap song, isn't it? Jigga, jigga. Jigga, jigga, gigawatt. <clears throat> I want to plug my gigawatts into your transformer <laughs> and make beautiful <laughs> energy babies. <laughs> Uh, I, I, think wanna, those are, I think those are the lyrics. I want to plug into my fine honey and transformer. <laughs> it's a fine transformer you have there, honey. <laughs> Look at all of my gigawatts. Uh, I like yeah. big gigawatts, and I cannot lie. Those other brothers can't deny. Uh, that it, yeah, that's that's that was one of my favorite rap songs as a kid growing up. The uh, gigawatt song. What was his name? Um, Sir Jigs a lot. Actually, I think that was uh, Sir Johnny Crapper, the man who also invented the toilet. He was a uh, he was a rapping poet in his yeah, uh, free well, time. Man, don't don't even bring that up because th that still upsets me to this day. Like, it's totally racist because he's the one that came up with the thing. He can call it what he wants. If he wants to call it a crapper, that's fine. Like everyone's like, no, that's too gross, man. Well, that's his his name dude like he can name it what he wants could you imagine and... how unfortunate like my name is crapper i invented this thing that has saved human civilization you no longer have to dump your fecal matter on the streets and now his name is like disgusting yeah he's yeah <laughs> he's one of the long forgotten heroes of uh american history but people just because they don't they censored his name because they're rude like that's like here, invent something that saves humankind. Your name is now a terrible thing. Yeah. It's really rude. People just can be so cruel. I would like to... Uh, I love when people tell me they would like to live in the 1800s, and I'm like, oh, really? You, you like swimming in fecal matter on the streets? That's great. And they're like, well, that's a normal Wednesday for me anyway, so yes. Yeah, well, I mean, when you work, when you work as a sewer cleaner, you might as well have lived in the 1800s anyway. That is true, and that is the dream of most sewer cleaners, from what I've heard. Uh, yeah, uh, because then they can go back to the 1800s and be chimney sweeps. Mm-hmm. Which, uh, which is a uh, popular guy on YouTube. Uh, yeah, chimney sweeper. Mm-hmm. Chimney sweep, 80,000. Yeah, he, he's right up there with 
JL3264-9432. Oh, um, so what's his name? JL phone number, right? Yeah, that's JL what, phone number. That's what they call him? That's like his uh, pet name or whatever? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yep, He's yep. pretty cool. That's what, cool uh, that's what C00 calls him, actually. Oh, that guy, that guy, Koo? Yep, uh, along with his friend um, Standard C. Oh, yeah, that, that guy, the, the C team? Yeah, yeah well, actually, cool. they opened the C club. Oh, the C Club. Yeah, I was thinking of something else. That I was thinking about the two guys. You know that um, that actually fish, and they play Minecraft, and they have like a, a webcam set up where you could see them in their tank as they play. That's why they call them the C Team because you know water, like oh, the ocean. Oh yeah, yeah. No, that totally makes sense. I I, I heard they were mm-hmm. uh, I heard they were um, live streaming over on Compulsion uh, Television. Oh yeah, you're right. The um. Yeah, uh, spasm spam dot TV is that what it is? Yeah, I think that's what it is. Yeah, spasm dot us. Yes, that's what it was. Spa- yeah, spasm dot us. Get some diamonds now. Doesn't look like I'm getting a ton of them. Damn, Un- unfortunate fortunes. Unfortune three. Isn't that a movie too? Lemony Snicket's a series of unfortunate fortunes. Three. Uh, yeah, it's Lemony Snicket's an unfortunate crafting table. In an uncrafting fortunate table. Yeah, maybe that's what happened. Did you uh, did you enchant that crafting table? Maybe you got Unfortune three on it. Yeah, <laughs> that that is like a well known well known thing. I mean, at least the inner but within the inner circle, because you know, Harold Her- Bryan. A lot of people still to this day don't think he's real, but I mean, we all know he is. You just need to know what to do and uh, to spawn him into the game. Yeah, you but- have to throw a stack of diamond blocks into lava. Mm-hmm. And then you have to stare at the diamonds burning up for about two minutes. And then after that, you have to post your uh, Minecraft password on Reddit. Yeah. And the next true. time you log in, he'll be there. Yeah. But you need to do it quick, too, because he will despawn right away if you are if you don't. Because he, he won't spawn right in front of you. you got to kind of look around. And if you don't get turn around in enough time, you uh, you won't see him. So... I mean, don't blame us if you do all those steps and it doesn't work. Yeah, also, uh, uh, we're not responsible for any last Minecraft accounts. Uh, oh, no, of course we're not. We're never responsible for anything we do in our videos. Yeah, exactly. Uh, just uh, remember, kids, all things in moderation. Yeah. So only gi- gullibility. Yeah. <laughs> only give away your passwords in moderation. Exactly. Uh, like, if you have a couple of extra bank account passwords you don't need... Just, you know, just see an unfortunate guy on the side of the road, give him your bank account number. Yeah, I mean, that that's never... Historically, that's done well for people. Because then, then then if he needs money, like, he... Because he, he'll need more money. Like, you give a guy $5, like that one person said, only $5, of course, because you're probably never going to see him again. But if you give him your bank account, then he's like, well, thank you, because now I could go in moderation and take money here and there whenever I need it, and could, I could live comfortably. So he's grateful to you. And exactly. he'll never, he'll never exactly. ask for money again. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Those dang ghosts are guarding mm. the emeralds. Oh, isn't that the movie that just came out, Dang Ghosts? Yeah, Dang Ghosts. That that um, one lady was complaining about. She said it was too racy. Oh no no no! You're you're confusing that with the Lincoln Log movie. Oh yeah, that's cool. Abraham Lincoln, he invented the Lincoln Logs, and they did the documentary on it on how he invented it, right? Yeah, yeah, and she, she was complaining that um, it was insensitive towards logs. Yeah, so, I know what you're saying. I mean, I, I get where she's coming from, but... Uh, she didn't need to be rude about it. Dang Ghosto was uh, much more... Yeah, that one was ridiculous. Yeah, I mean, l- let's be honest. When... Uh, when they cut the wooden nodules off of the log, it was a little much. Yeah, um, some some people, some guys don't have that done when they're kids. Like, if you do that later in life, that really hurts, from what I've heard. Yeah, uh, especially if they do it with the rusty fork, Ouch. which which is just tradition, from what I've heard. Mm-hmm. Um, you get it; they do it, and that's actually why you get the tetanus shot is to uh 
prevent uh, tetanitis. Oh, I thought it was tendinitis. I guess I was wrong. Oh, well, that's that's another disease, but you get tendinitis from eating uh, an apple a day. Oh, that's see, that's the thing. That's where they get you, because they always say an apple a day keeps the doctor away, but that's a lie. Oh, yeah, no, no, no. It's just a scam to get more money. Yeah, just to boost the apple industry. It's always the, it's always those guys, too. It's always the apple industry. Like, the, when you look deep into stuff, when you delve deep into all the conspiracies in the United States, I mean, in other countries, too, but mostly in the U.S., it's oh, it always seems like it's it's the apple people every time. And I'm not talking about the uh, computer company. I'm talking about, like, the people that actually make, like, well, but and grow the apple, apples. The apple industry is also behind Apple, the computer company. Are, you're kidding me. Are you serious? Uh, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's really obvious. Um I mean, oh, who wow, else, it goes deeper than I even thought. Who else would make a iPhone and then make an iPad, which is just a larger version of the iPhone? And then, like, three and, months later, they make another iPad. And then, no, and then release the iPad Mini, which is, you know, just an iPhone except a different name. That is so genius. It's diabolically genius. Let's make a smaller version, or let's make a bigger version of something that's slightly different and then make a smaller version of it that's exactly like the thing that we wanted to make smaller and bigger at the same time while also making it bigger than being smaller exactly you know it's like um it's like one of those pictures where you look at it and it looks like the pathway crosses underneath itself but that's not physically possible yeah you're, you're right so in, instead of you know the pass the pathway crossing underneath itself it's an ipad crossing underneath itself those guys, how did they come up with this stuff? It's all skull and bones and all that crap there behind it. It just has to be. Exactly, right? Um, like, for instance, when your sandwich disappears, it's not because, you know, your roommate ate it. It's because of the fact that the apple industry is trying to, like, secretly get you to buy apples. Like, why else are there apples in fruit baskets to make you think about apples more often? Mm-hmm. Why, there, why else are there apples inside of vending machine, machines sometimes? There's like a sandwich and then there's an apple in there. They're trying to do some weird subliminal stuff to you, I think is what it is. Like you see enough apples, eventually you're going to just get it and you're going to start eating it. And you're like, why did I do this? And they've they already got in your head and there's nothing you could do about it. It's too late. And then, and then you'll be eating the apple and you'll be sick and you'll be dying alone. And you'll be wondering what good the apple ever did for you. Yeah, and the dwarves won't be able to save you at all. There's nothing they could do. It's true. It's true. And then Sleepy will finally sleep. Mm -hmm. Forever. He'll be dead. Yep. And then uh, that oh, pig named Bambi. Oh, yeah. I remember that. Um, well, sh she'll just eat her father. Which is a sad, sad state of affairs. Well, it, it's kind of uh, it's kind of poetic if you think about it. It's like... Uh, She's consuming the machine that consumed her. Oh, that's that that that, that is not the name of that um that band from like the nineties. Uh, consuming the machine, right? The uh, what was their song? Um, um, oh, I can't remember what the what the name of their song was. Um, Cows on Patrol was one of their songs, I believe. Cows on Patrol. Okay. Yes. And there was, what was there? Um, no, let's see, it was Cows on Patrol. Was was that the one where the pigs were, like, taking over? Yes, but they called them cows because, like, just to be ironic. Yeah, it's uh, it's one of those, like, fight the power things. Yeah, which is, like, something they, that's, that, that's what they're all about. That's the band. That's what their whole style is, their gimmick. Yeah, you have to fight the power because... Let's be honest, power plants are just taking over. Mm -hmm. We have to fight the power. Just look what they did to uh, Japan all those years ago. Or, I mean, it was only like a year or two ago now at this point. But Yeah, I know, right? All those power plants conspired together to create a giant tidal wave. Mm -hmm. It was some pretty crazy it, stuff. Yeah, it was like a giant typhoon. Like, not with water. It was the old wrestler. He used to team up with Earthquake, and they were called the um, Natural Disasters. Um, you probably don't know this, Marty, but because it was before your time. But 
they were in on all sorts of weird conspiracies. Like the number one thing they were trying to do, like this was just a front though. They were trying to get the WWF tag team titles, but really they were trying to take over the world. Well, you know, anything involving wrestling inherently is taking over the world. I mean, why else would you wear spandex and a silly mask? Because mm-hmm. you're evil. Yeah, that's how that's how it is in all the comic books. Or it's the same thing. Mm-hmm. But I mean, let's be honest, Batman. Um, I, I'm pretty sure if Batman didn't exist, neither would none of the supervillains. Like, Batman pretty much created the Joker. Let's be honest here. Mm-hmm. It's uh, it's highly ironic because um, if Batman didn't exist, neither would the Apple industry, because that's just... what Wayne Enterprise does is they produce uh advanced apples to sell to military those damn bastards i just (sighs) there's the more you delve into it the more you realize how deep it goes into and it's just it's just ridiculous it's almost as in deep as that movie uh what was that called um interception oh yeah where the guy he he's on the football team and then some guy like gets into his head and makes him catch the ball when he doesn't want to or something yeah 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 and then then then, then he sells his father's company yes that's true man that movie was crazy yeah especially at the end when you're watching whether or not the lego house will explode and uh, then the credits roll before you get to find out whether or not the legos explode I hate when they do that in movies. It's, they always, they never show the, the end. With, like, you never, you have to, I guess they want to try to, like, let you think it over. Like, oh, did the Legos really explode or not? Uh, I mean, every once in a while you have to give someone a, a proper ending. It's just really rude to just leave leave it up to us to decide what happened. Yeah, I mean, I mean, we understand, Hollywood. We, we get that you can't write a good ending for every movie because, I mean, that would just be too much effort for the amount of money you rake in that would just be absurd but you know you have you have to throw us a bone every once in a while yeah you can't expect them to actually have endings to movies every time yeah i know right like too too much to ask we should we should just be grateful the movie doesn't cut off like in the middle of dialogue otherwise people would run to you and start complaining this is true (laughs) my mover doesn't have sound my movie doesn't have sound. Turn up your damn hearing aid, then, you jerk. Oh, I guess you were right, Sonny. <laughs> uh, the general public. They're lovely. Yes. And by lovely, we mean awesome. And by awesome, we mean we hate them and we, wanna, we wish they were all dead. And by that, we mean the first thing. Yeah, it all refers back to the first thing. Mm-hmm. Which is that song by um, Brian McKnight that might be a little bit before your time as well um, back to the first thing I think it's called it's like he goes through all the different numbers of like stuff like talking about his girl and he's like and then like um, he's like and then if I believe that I'm done with what I like what I was set out to do I'm gonna go back to the first thing is that's how the lyric goes it's pretty cool it's a it's a pretty good love song look it up kids oh that's a dang skeleton Skellington in the house. How long have we been been recording, by the way? Because like I don't want three hours. It's fine. Oh yeah, because because I think it's after the th- three and a half hour mark that the um the government can track you and and get your location on where you're recording. So I kind of don't want to get too far into this. Oh yeah, that's right. Because then the apples will find us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, we need to go. Uh, we need to go put our aluminum hats on to hide from the apples. Mm-hmm. But uh, once we come out of hiding and we're safe again, we'll see you guys. Or if we don't, you know that we're dead. Yeah, we were killed by the CIA, who was mad that they didn't get invited to the SWAT meet. Yes, which is the Central Institute of Apples. Uh, exactly, yeah. Okay, so we'll see you guys if we're still alive, hopefully. Yep, and uh, if we are still alive, never talk of this, because the more you talk about the... Uh, Central yeah, they'll intelligent tr- Apple agency. The more likely yep. they are to find you, they yeah they will find you. So guys, yeah, um, this could be it for us. So, see you or not see you. Yep. And, whatever you do, uh, forget everything you heard and never talk about it. Ma- make sure, in honor of our possible death, you tell everyone about us and have everyone ever subscribe to us. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, uh, we are going to go into our hiding now, and I'm going to kill this ghost. <laughs> see y'all next time.
See ya. Toodles.